All right, now the story of Man vs. Wild, the video game, there really isn't much of a story for Man vs. Wild, the video game. I mean, they could have made somewhat of a story because it's an interesting premise where a guy just says, you know what, I'm going to go into the wild and see if I could survive in some of the most deadliest places in the world. And I know this is a TV series that's been going on for a couple years now. And it would have been cool to just add maybe a couple other characters that he talks to or something, or just maybe add just a story or something. But they didn't. They just said, you know what, go through these these five environments, try to survive. There you go, there's a story. And you get some narration by Bear Grylls, the guy that does all this shit. So there you go, there's a story, generic, but not not horrendous because it's really not meant to be a story, I guess. So, yeah, let's go on to the sound of Man vs. Wild, the video game. Okay, now the sound in the game is utterly horrendous. It really is. The only shining point in here is the actual guy, Bear Grylls, who isn't that great in the game because he does voice the character and does narration. He's not great, but he is competent. He does actually sound like he gives a shit, and he does give you some pointers in the game like, hey, you should do this, or hey, you should do that, or here's a tip on how to survive this. And, you know, it sounds like... And he's British, that's why I'm doing that accent. Uh... And, you know, he's he definitely sounds like he's trying to be helpful. The thing is, everything else, the sound effects, the like, the little sound effects for each, like, uh, animal and the environment are terrible. And I'll just tell you right now, they're all stock, pretty much, for every animal. You you hear a bear, it's roar. It's a, you hear a wolf, it's roar. It's, <laughs> it's obvious shit for each animal. It's very stock it's very bad. It, re- it sounds terrible. It glitches out a lot. So sometimes you don't even hear the terrible uh, sound clips. Uh, sometimes it's too loud. Sometimes it's too low for weird reasons, even though you're right next to the animal. And it's just retarded. It really is. It's bad. I'm just going to say right there. So overall, I would say the sound is bad. But at least you have Bear Grylls, who actually does a decent job of narrating the game. So there you go. The sound bad overall. Let's go on to the graphics. Now the graphics for Man vs. Wild the video game, holy shit, this game screams budget. It really does. I think this game came out last month, April, and I think it was priced at 30 bucks. I think that's about 20 bucks too high for the how the game looks. The game is utterly horrendous looking. It really is. The environments look like shit. Uh, the character models are horrendous. The animations are laughable. It looks like when your character runs, he looks like he's t- taking a. F- it's like it's like he has mud butt and he's trying to run to the nearest fucking restroom to go clear that up. And it's just, it's really terrible and all the animals look really bad some of them look hilarious like i saw this boar where he had to go attack him and he had no fucking eyes i was like what what the fuck am i fight <laughs> i thought i was fighting like a fucking creature from resident evil and it was like okay this is terrible this is utterly terrible it really is the graphics in this game scream budget i don't care if it's a budget game it's still based on a pretty popular license so at least do decent they didn't. It looks horrendous. It really does. Let's go on to the gameplay because I'm already getting sick and tired of fucking talking about this game. Okay, now the gameplay for Man vs. Wild, the video game, is set in five different areas where you have to go into each one of these areas and try to survive, pretty much. And that's interesting. And that's probably the best thing I can say about the gameplay. Everything else is horrendous. It really is. When I say interesting, I mean interesting for the first 20 minutes. After that, it got ex- extremely repetitive. Now, let me talk about what the gameplay really is. You have to survive, sure, but let me explain why, like, what do you have to do to survive. During, throughout the game, throughout the environment, you'll find little things like uh, coconuts or something, or uh, animals to kill and take their meat and cook it or something on a campfire. And to do all this stuff, it's all a freaking mini game. To kill a enemy, you do a mini game. To jump up onto a ledge, you do a mini game. Uh, or, or sometimes you actually have to climb, but most of the time it's like a mini game. To uh, start a campfire, I think I said you have to do a mini game. Uh, to get shelter, you have to do a mini game. To set a trap, you have to do a mini game. Almost everything in this game is a freaking mini game. Hell, even getting to the environment they have to go to sometimes is a mini game because you have to jump out of the plane and do freaking stupid, uh, like Tony Hawk flips and shit in the air for some fucking reason. You know, just just to add more retarded gameplay into the game. 
it really feels like this game was made in like three weeks. It's really just bad. I mean, there's other things like platform, which is terrible, and a couple interesting things like you have to keep your hydration up so you don't dehydrate, so you have to find a whole bunch of water and stuff. Sometimes you'll find dirty water, so you have to boil it to get rid of the dirt, I guess. I, don't <laughs> I guess that's how it works. And it's just, it's, it's interesting on paper, but when you play it, it's horrendous. And the game is obviously low budget, so I can't give it that much of a fault, but still, it's a bad game. Do not play this game. There's not much else to say. There's other things in the game, like you can find, like, little, I don't know, uh, crashed airplanes and stuff, you know, just hidden items in the game, and that gives you more achievement points, but that's about it. I would say you have about five to six hour game here for, what, 30 bucks? Not worth it. Definitely not when the gameplay is so repetitive. Stay away from this game. It's a piece of shit. I'm just gonna say, it is a piece of shit. But what was I expecting? It's Man vs. Wild, the video game. Anyway, there's my review for the game. Go check the description for the written review and my score. Thank you and goodbye. Do not play this game.